today I'm going to be showing you my five minute glute activation routine. And I do this before every leg day. It's actually super important to be sure that your glutes are actually activated because a lot of times what happens is if you have a job where you're sitting a lot, or if you don't move around a lot throughout the day, and to be honest, even those of us that do move around a lot through the day, we're probably not actively engaging our glutes. So this is really important for 99% of people that are training to be sure that you are properly activating your glutes. And so we are going to be doing three things in this warm up. We are going to be using resistance bands, a foam roller, and doing some light stretching as well. So first for the resistance bands, I'm so excited to announce that my body love bands have just launched. I've been testing these for you girls for months and I'm so excited to begin guiding you and teaching you on how to incorporate resistance bands into your workout routine especially your leg days. Resistance bands are super important for hip mobility and to ensure that your glutes are actually turned on and activated. Because a lot of the times when you are doing leg day, when you are doing squats and glute bridges, your glutes may not even be activating and firing properly. So resistance bands are exactly what are going to help you do that. And there are three different levels. So there's light, medium, and heavy. And they are super affordable and they're super lightweight. So these are also really Really great to travel with. So I hope you enjoy this warm up. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment them below and we will talk in just a bit. All right, guys, we are going to start off our glute activation with some very light stretches. So just to get the body moving, we're going to do a quick hamstring stretch, a very quick adductor, which is your inner thigh stretch, and then cross your ankle over on the opposite knee. And as you can see, I'm bringing my booty closer and further away to my heel. That just gets a deeper stretch as well as dropping your hips from side to side. So if you have tight hips, this is a really good quick stretch to do that will open up the hips and help stretch your glutes. Now it is time for our body love resistance bands. And we are going to start with clamshells. And you want to be sure that you are rolling onto the front part of your hip. You do not want your weight to be shifted towards the back. You want your weight to be shifted towards the front. So you roll onto your hip. This will ensure that your glute medius is going to be able to activate and engage. So as you can see here, I am touching my booty. And <laughs> this is something that really helps to further engage and activate that muscle. It's called the mind muscle connection. So Anytime you aren't sure if a muscle group is activating, you just touch it and that will help you further activate it. When you are doing clamshells, be sure that you are feeling it in your glute medius, which is also known as your top butt, which is like that upper corner of your glute. So be sure that you are feeling it there and not in your hip flexors. If you are feeling it in your hip flexors, then you are likely shifted too much on the back part of your hips and you need to shift forward. Another thing to know is to be sure that you are keeping your feet together. You do not want them to separate while you are doing clamshells. And now we are moving on to doing glute bridges. So with glute bridges, you want to be sure that you are not simply raising your glutes as fast or as high as you can. These are much more about the quality of the move than the quantity, like the speed. So you want to be sure that you are raising those hips and tilting your pelvis inwards towards your rib cage. So that might sound a little funny, but you can also think about it as closing the gap between your pelvis and your rib cage. And what that will do is that will ensure that your glutes are actually activated instead of simply raising your glutes or your hips as high as you can, which can actually end up engaging your lower back more than your glutes themselves. And now I am moving on to these walkouts. So you want to maintain a raised glute bridge position. What you want to focus on is walking in and out on your heels because this is actually working on engaging your hamstrings instead of your glutes. Your glutes are the secondary muscle working here. Your hamstrings are the primary. Next, we are moving on to resistance band donkey kicks and fire hydrants. So that is where you get into a tabletop position raise that leg directly back and then to the side. And you want to do this with maintaining as stable of a torso as possible. You don't want your hips to be swinging or your upper body to be swinging. And especially with adding resistance bands that adds an extra layer of difficulty, which is exactly what we want. And another really important thing to keep in mind with donkey kicks and fire hydrants is to be sure that your hands are placed directly below your shoulders. You don't want them to be placed too wide or too narrow or in front of you either. 
After you have fully engaged your hip flexors with your resistance bands, then you want to foam roll before you start your workout. So I am just foam rolling a few different areas where I typically feel tightness or where my muscles get tight and sore from my IT band to my hip flexors to my glute medius, which is the top butt. And you can spend anywhere from five to 20 seconds on each area depending on how tight that area feels. So the tighter it feels, the longer you can spend on each section. I typically spend about 10 seconds on average and you wanna be actively foam rolling. Another really important thing is you wanna be sure that you're breathing. You don't wanna brace yourself because then your muscles are tense and they're not even going to be lengthened with the foam roller like they should be. So be sure that you are breathing, your body is relaxed and you are actively rolling them. And that's about it. And then you're gonna be ready to crush your workout. Your glutes will be activated and engaged so that your glute bridges and squats and all those other booty strengthening moves are going to be able to do what they are meant to do and build that booty. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, of course, don't forget to comment below and just let me know also if you liked this and if you want more videos like it as well. And if you are not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.